Hello, my name is Travis Harrison, and I'm so excited to be joining this fantastic lineup of artists for 2022's Sweetwater Music Festival in Owen Sound. That festival runs September 15th to 18th. As you can see, I'm a double bass player. These aren't cellos, they're not big guitars. I have not once in my life wished that I played the flute, but thank you for asking. Double bass, I love the double bass. Tell you a little bit about myself before we get on to why I love the double bass, and uh, especially in relation to Sweetwater Festival this year. Um, I was born and raised in Etobicoke, and that's now the West End of Toronto, and started my career with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra. I played there for six years, and just before the pandemic started, I had started getting a lot of work back in Ontario. I was guest principal bass of the Canadian Opera Company, and I was working all of my vacations with the National Arts Centre Orchestra in Ottawa. And so I moved back to Toronto just before the pandemic started, and really haven't looked back since. I've been having such a great time. Um, since then, I've been guest principal with the National Arts Centre Orchestra. I've been subbing with the uh, National Ballet of Canada. Um, doing all sorts of chamber music and solo work around. And I also started uh, teaching quite a bit more as professor of double bass at the University of Ottawa. Um, my old mentor and I created a couple of uh, fantastic technique books called the Canadian School of Double Bass. And I've also been very active with the International Society of Bassists, which is a nonprofit organization based out of Dallas, Texas. So enough about me. Uh, you can always look things up on my website, but back to Sweetwater Festival. This year's festival, I think, has just been designed uh, to be like a desert island music selection for a double bass player. We're playing three pieces that feature the double bass prominently, and uh, I can't be more excited to play them and prepare them. The first one I'll talk about is Prokofiev's Quintet. It's a quintet written for violin, viola, double bass, oboe, and clarinet. And it was originally written uh, actually as a ballet, which was premiered in 1924, I believe. Uh, the ballet was called Trapeze. And the quintet is literally that ballet, um, they just cut out the first two movements and made it into a standalone piece of chamber music, which is what we're going to be playing for you. It's so much fun. Um, I think it's worth looking up the ballet Trapeze on, uh, on YouTube sometime if you have a chance, because the choreography that goes with it is so funny. Um, especially, <laughs> thankfully, one of the beginnings of the movements, the beginning of the second movement of the quintet, uh, is just a double bass solo. And every time I play it, I can't help but laugh because it's just so Prokofiev. Uh, he was such a brave composer giving double bassists um, melodies and interesting lines to play. And this piece is so virtuosic instead of hearing the normal uh, five one five one that you may be used to hearing of a double bass, he gives these really incredible lines and uh, the beginning of that second moment. Uh, just genius. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
is a beautiful, mysterious melody that uh, I can't wait to share with all of you. And the last piece that I'll talk about is the Connaissance, Guillaume Connaissance Sextet. And this sextet was written, I believe, in 1990. So quite a modern piece, uh, Connaissance still alive and composing. Um, it's the same instrumentation as a Prokofiev quintet, but there's a piano added to it. So violin, viola, bass, clarinet, oboe, and piano. Um, I'm not going to play any of it for you because it's one of these marvelous pieces that is so brilliantly composed. Um, none of the parts on their own really sound like much. But when you put them all together, it's like many things in life. Um, the individual parts are just much better as a whole group together than as individuals. And I can't wait to start rehearsing this with the rest of the group. Um, I think every, every time we rehearse it, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's the kind of piece that you just want to keep on keep on playing because it's so fun, it's so joyous and energetic. It's going to be a rip roaring good time. So if you want to hear that one, come to Owen Sev, September fifteenth and eighteenth for Sweetwater Music Festival. I'll see you there.